Spotify prototypes taste buds to revive social music discovery. Spotify is prototyping a new way to see what friends have been listening to, called taste buds. Despite how discovering music is inherently social, Spotify has no features for directly interacting with friends within its mobile app after axing its own inbox in 2017 and keeping its friend activity ticker restricted to desktop. It seemed like Spotify was purposefully restricting social features to force users to rely on the company's own playlists and discovery surfaces. This gave Spotify the power to play Kingmaker, massively influencing which artists got featured and rose to stardom. This in turn gave it leverage in its combative negotiations with record labels, which worried their artists might get left off playlists if they don't play nice with Spotify in terms of sustainable royalty rates and access to exclusives. That strategy seems to have paid off with Spotify improving its licensing deals and becoming a critical promotional partner for the labels, paving the way to its IPO. Spotify's shares sit around $152, up from its direct listing price of $132 though down from its first day pop that saw it rise to $165. More comfortable in its position, now Spotify seems ready to relinquish more control of discovery and enable users to be better inspired by what friends are playing. TasteBuds is designed to let users explore the music taste profiles of their friends. Taste Buds lives as a navigation option alongside your library and home slash browse sections. Anyone can access a non-functioning landing page for the feature at https colon slash slash open dot spotify dot com slash taste buds. The feature explains itself with text noting what's taste buds. Now you can discover music through friends whose taste you trust. The prototype feature was discovered in the web version of Spotify by reverse engineering sorcerous and frequent TechCrunch tipster Jane Manchin Wong, who gave us some more details on how it works. Users tap the pen icon to search the people you follow. From there they can view information about what users have been playing most and easily listen along or add songs to their own library. Without taste buds, there are only a few buried ways to interact socially on Spotify. You can message friends a piece of music through buttons for SMS, Facebook Messenger, and more or post songs to your Instagram or Snapchat story. Spotify used to have an in-app inbox for trading songs but removed it in favor of shuttling users to more popular messaging apps. On the desktop app but not mobile or web, you can view a friend activity ticker of songs your Facebook friends are currently listening to. Or you can search for specific users and follow them or view playlists they've made public, though Spotify doesn't promote user search much. Spotify has a few other social features it's experimented with. For more on this story, visit the news article link.